freedoms, and I'm going to name them in order. Religion, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of assembly, and freedom of petition. So this uh, gallery addresses the, um, those freedoms and how people have their freedoms curtailed at the heart of very controversial debates about freedom of expression. So right here in this wall, I'm just going to talk about one government space association. It was the first satellite ever positioned over the Pacific Ocean, and it was the final link in a series of satellites that you see three colors. Green represents free freedom of speech, freedom of the press. Yellow represents represents partially free, and red represents not free. This is uh, an independent private organization that is dance sports. Ninety. Uh, as you can see, there were bullets and shrapnel. The windshield was broken. It was bulletproof, and nobody, fortunately, nobody died. It's, it's a pretty small cab area. Um, so we call that metal magnet. This area here is about some of the journalists that they made this kind of vision and then eventually into the internet. And this area of focus is going to be news is transmitted and recited. The speed of news is something that's been a common theme throughout the museum and something that you can all control room of the museum. collection of Pulitzer Prize photos in the world. You cannot find these on Google. You cannot find them on the internet. Um, the Pulitzer Prize was started by a newspaper baron, <coughs> excuse me, back in the early 19th century. And um, Joseph Pulitzer was his name. This gallery looks, excuse me, 
and two categories that pertain to photo journalism. As a parent, teachers are wonderful people and very important people to um, ed help educate um, young people and anyone else. It's just really important. And I have a daughter that's a teacher, and I'm, you know, I'm really proud of that. And um, I am very grateful as a parent that my children have very good teachers. Thank you very much. So, I'm proud of you that your daughter is because of you. I will know. Thank you, sister. I will tell her that. I love telling her, oh, I've got a group of teachers today. <laughs> so please welcome to the United States. Enjoy your visit here. Take it all in. You can sleep, you know, when you get back because there's so much to see. And when you get to Montana and Colorado, it's going to be beautiful and very peaceful there. So enjoy. And uh, please keep coming back to the United States, please. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good time. All right. Thank you.